welcome to my Planet Power tour. I'll split this video up into three parts. Um, the first one will be my games. Um, the second part will be uh, my collectibles. And the third part will be my uh, audio and visual setup. Um, so starting here, these four machines are pretty much the same as last time. Um, I have my uh, Mortal Kombat um, 2 arcade one up over there, which I have obviously made my own custom riser for um, with the Mortal Kombat logo there, which is pretty cool. Um, doesn't get a lot of play. I wouldn't be surprised if that's not here on the next tour, but it does look cool. Um, there's my big buck hunter that I modded um, for my arcade specifically. Had that custom made, that sign there, Planet Power. Um, and uh, had that uh, larger screen put on. It's so much better. Um, I don't need to convince anyone. I've only got the one gun going there because we don't really play together ever. Um, here's my virtual pin. Um, still with uh, all the tables on it. Um, still working great. Uh, here is my custom Big Trouble in Little China themed cabinet that I made from scratch. Um, obviously I had the shell of the machine and then I put new guts into it, new buttons, new lights, new screen, new um, everything, new artwork, the whole lot. Now, a couple of new additions over this side of the room. Um, the Time Crisis, which I got a couple of months ago um, and has been awesome. Really enjoy it. Great, great cabinet, honestly. Um, runs really well. I think it's pretty true to the arcade experience other than that small screen. Uh, Terminator 2, again, um, pretty stock. I did make a, an additional 5-inch mini riser there with LEDs in it. Um, and then I had the artwork printed, obviously, and stuck that on. Um, that's my signed um, uh, photo when I met Michael Bean. Dragon's Lair, where do I begin with Dragon's Lair? I like Dragon's Lair. It's cool. It is more so for the vibe of the arcade than it is for the playability, I have to say, unfortunately. It's, it's so hard and I've really just got to come down and focus some time on it, I think, at some point. Um, here's my custom Star Wars cabinet. So oh, you'll see a lot of these mods and stuff that I've done to these machines uh, on my YouTube channel, but um, essentially this was a, a main cabinet. Um, so yeah, that's awesome because that's got Afterburner and a whole bunch of flying games on it and driving games, but mostly flying games. It's got all the Star Wars games. It's got the Sega Star Wars arcade game on it. Um, and yeah, a ton of other flying games and stuff. Very cool. Really happy with how that turned out. Um, Big Blue. Got Big Blue this year as well. And I really love it. It's cool. It's really cool. I like playing online Street Fighter against people. Golden Tea is so much fun. And um, been playing a little bit of that. But I'll tell you what, the uh, Silver Strike Bowling on here, I think it's called, the, the Tempin Bowling, so great. Um, there's my Iron Man, still going strong. Six foot four, six foot five, I think he is. Pretty cool. This is my Sopranos um, signed um, script with a signed um, photo from the from the cast. Um, just there, which is pretty cool. Now this is the back of the double doors. Um, this that I had wrapped in this Wolverine um, uh, co comic cover. I love this. I love the way it turned out. I think it just looks so cool. Um, and it's it's such an eye grab. Obviously it's very eye catching when you come in the room um, and we close the doors and stuff. Um, super cool. So yeah, loving that. And then looking above the door here, we've got uh, some of my helmet collection. So I've got uh, Fallout um, Power Armor there. Um, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, of course. That is such a cool um, helmet. I really, really love that. Um, Pipers, basketball, and then uh, obviously Kobe and um, uh, Lakers uh, pin there. Uh, Kobe's obviously 
my favourite player of all time. I have a uh, Grim Fandango themed fridge. Um, this is a comic display cabinet that I made myself. It's got LEDs obviously running up the sides and I've included three comic sleeves so you can change out the comics whenever you want um, for you know display purposes obviously. It's just something cool to fill up the space. Uh, there's my Huff Street Fighter 2 deck which I think is amazing as well. Um, moving into some of my figurines. There's uh, Aliens, uh, Alien vs Predator. Uh, that's a really big um, piece actually, I love it. And it's a two-parter, you have to put them together. Very cool. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, look, more Alien stuff here going down the line. I won't go into all of it. Um, there's an omnibus up the back there. But basically, uh, a ton of Aliens. Uh, down the bottom here, some random stuff. Uh, Raiden, some Mario stuff, Star Wars, X-Men classic. And uh, again, another shout out to Big Trouble in Little China, Jack Burton there, love that. Um, and then another Punisher at the back, some more Mario stuff. Uh, here's my Predator bust. Look how lovely this is. Very good attention to detail. It was uh, one of the more costly um, collectibles I have in my room. Uh, but super cool, the, the shoulder cannon and stuff. Lots of great detail there, really good. And then in the corner, of course, uh, we have Vampirella. Above that are my shelves that I put in. So I've got some games down the bottom here, um, certain games that I like to display. Um, and then above that, some, some more games, Wii stuff. And then we move into the actual uh, movies. And again, this is basically just sort of showing off some of the my favourites, uh, NBA Champions, 20 Years, Beatles Anthology, a uh, couple of box sets down here basically. Um, that is a Pink Floyd, um, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, uh, 5.1 audio disc, so you can basically play it and have uh, a 5.1 mix of that album. Very cool, worth buying if you've got a setup that can uh, allow you to do so. Uh, Indiana Jones, Sopranos, Godfather, obviously, Back to the Future trilogy, um, Ultimate Jordan, which has all of the Jordan um, videos in it, which I love. Um, and then, yeah, look, the rest of it's pretty much just um, your stock standard DVD collection. Punisher War Machine helmet. I don't know if anyone's familiar, but uh, Punisher got his hands on War Machine and uh, it is quite a good series. Um, <clears throat> so that was cool. And uh, yeah, there's look a little uh, signed um, photo um, there for Big Trouble in Little China. You guys probably remember him, Gerald Okamura. Um, super cool though. Like um, he's hand signed that and sent it out to fans. It's uh, really cool. He's still going strong. You should check out his um, Instagram page if you like those that movie. Uh, anyway, so there's a good look at the collectible wall um, and a little general all round tour of um, this space. So the games, the collectibles, um, all in all, a pretty decent little man cave down here, but we prefer to call it a fam cave, of course, because this is for the family. Um, and mostly because we come in here and we watch movies here on the couch. We've got the um, surround sound speakers going all the way around, um, equipped, of course, with cup holders. Uh, up the top here, I have a Sony um, 4K 3D projector. Uh, it's a beast, this thing, absolute beast. Serves me well. Um, movies look fantastic on it, um, especially when I've got all the lights out, obviously. Um, and that just throws over here to the screen. Um, and then obviously down the front there, I've got um, a couple of subs, uh, center speaker, and uh, obviously my front left and right speakers. Um, a, quick, a quick look at um, what I've got down here in the multimedia cabinet basically. So um, this has obviously a couple of these drawers have all the remotes and stuff in them. And then apart from that, I've got my Denon uh, Blu-ray player 
I've got a VHS player, I've got a Nintendo Wii, I've got a Nintendo 64. Um, and then over this side, um, you've got my Denon oh, uh, receiver amplifier, which is uh, going strong. And uh, I do have a PS5 upstairs, and when that comes down, it goes underneath here so that I can play zombies and things uh, on, um, on the big screen. Uh, which is also a lot of fun. Um, basically, that is it. Please let me know if you want to know any more information or would like to know where I got anything or how I built anything that I did uh, customise in this room. And I'll be very happy to help. Thanks so much.